Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Booed in the Hood. Thank you very much for coming back. I've had a lot of great comments about my first episode and I'm really looking forward to this series. I've got so much to tell you about, I can't wait. It's been it's been fun. And um, So let's get to it. Okay, one thing I have been doing is scouting. Scouting, scouting, scouting. All different kinds of categories. Um, freebies, young players, interested players basically. Just trying to get a massive, massive list that I can look through and search through and try and find a few players for in the future, maybe at Christmas. I did find a few which I will tell you about soon. Um, and just to have a list or so know who's good, who's not. Right, as you can see, I've been proper busy. Now, something happened that sparked this, but I wasn't really happy with my squad, I'll be honest with you. Um, and all the way up to, until a transfer window finishes, I will always try and get myself better players if I can. Sunderland, they put a bid in for Sean Scannell. It was four and a half million in total, not straight up. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I, I, didn't, I planned on him being my backup right winger, and I thought, he's, he's quite young, he's all right. He's worth about, I think he's worth about three and a half. So to get that much for him, happy days. Bye bye, Sean. So Sean left. And I found Charles and Zogbia on a freebie. Thought brilliant. He can come in and either be my first right winger or my backup right winger. Happy days, not gonna cost me a penny. So that gave me some money to start looking at how I can improve the squad. So I looked at the goalkeepers and I had Joe Murphy. He's the older goalkeeper. Now he's alright. And I liked him the, I liked him more than Danny Ward. Danny Ward was a goalkeeper that was already at the club that was on loan from Liverpool. So I thought, sack it. Danny Ward was on about nine grand a week, I think. I was paying him nine grand a week. So I sent him back and I found a Fulham's keeper. Well, Fulham had a backup keeper called Marcus Bettinelli. Now he's their backup keeper, but stat wise, when I put it in the search engine and he came up, I was like, happy days. I really like the look of this lad. And he's come in and become my new number one. So I'm really, really happy now with my goalkeeper. Defence, I wanted a new centre-back. I wanted a really good centre-back. So again, I put in a specific set of stats that I wanted, a specific set of skills, and I found Michael Morrison at Birmingham. Brilliant. I got him in for two and a half million. Now that is spread out. I'm not paying two and a half million for him. We have spread that payment out, but I'm really happy with that because, well, I'll tell you about it in a bit, but that's giving me more options. Next, I found this guy, Will Grigg. Will Grigg is on fire. Everyone talks about Will Grigg. And I think stat-wise, he's really good. Now, I just thought I was lacking a bit of firepower and I, I wanted five strikers. I've got a kid up front who's quite good who I got from Spurs. But I thought, sack it. If I can get Will Grigg, and I got him for one and a half million. Again, spread out. Um, and that is it. So, yeah, one player out. One player's left who was on loan. And I've brought in four good championship players. So, my squad is looking really tidy. Right, well, we've had more games off camera than I originally planned and you'll you'll see why in a minute um, but let's just go through the games one by one look at the goals and see what happened okay right the first game was against Hartlepool we're at home and it was in the League Cup the English League Cup whatever it's called now the EFL and wow what a game again we scored a lot of goals and we let in a lot of goals and to be fair we uh, it felt like we only just we scraped it I felt like we were getting battered, even though we had more chances, we had less of the ball, and it was definitely, well, we were lucky, that is it, it was just pure luck, I mean, it is a lot of fun, it is entertaining, I love playing attacking football, but in my last series, we didn't let in as many goals as this, so it's a bit worrying, and it's something I've been looking into, so yeah, 4-3, lucky. Next game was Newcastle in the league, away at St James's Park, and your eyes do not deceive you. This theme is carrying on. We are scoring, 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 but we can't stop letting goals in. Um, Danny Ward was in there again, still at the club at this point. Um, Wells, though, at trick, the lad was on fire. He was amazing, finished it as man of the match, finished with a 9.5. Uh, Kachunga got the other goal. Um, Newcastle were good, Dwight Gale was very good. Um, but again, we were lucky. We got an 89th minute winner. An 89th minute winner. <laughs> it was crazy. What a crazy, crazy game, but again, really, really fun to watch. I mean, these games would make absolutely cracking live comms. Next game was in the league, and we were playing Austin Villa away, and we are playing some of the big teams early, so to not get beat again by one of the big two, which has got to be Villa and Newcastle in this division, I'm really, really pleased with that, and it was 1-1. It was I mean, it was one of the most even games ever. We had the same amount of chances, we had about the same amount of the ball. 
we had some okay performances, but everyone was a bit average on both sides. So a one-one, a one-one draw away at Austin Villa, a point at Villa, at Villa Park. Happy days. Next game was in the league, and we're at home, back at the John Smith Stadium, and we played a Yorkshire rival, Barnsley. And yeah, this was our game. Even though we had less chances, we we were better on the ball. We had more of the ball. Had some great performances. Lolly was brilliant. He got man of the match. Uh, scored three decent goals. So yeah, it, Barnsley were down there near the bottom of the league. But honestly, I was really really happy with this game. And to to just let one goal in is is good for us. <laughs> Next game was the second round of the League Cup, and the first defeat of the season. But Stoke were a Premier League side. Really, they were class above. Even though when you look at their team, they're not really a world beater team. Are they? They're an, they're an average Premier League team. And that's no offence to Stoke, but they are. Um, and I didn't expect to get beat as heavily as we did, especially at home. But yeah, we got spanked. I'll be honest with you. Um, disappointing. But do you know what? I mean, disappointing is we hardly had any of the ball. Look, we hardly had any chances. But we're out that cup now. I don't have to worry about it. Just concentrate on the league because I really want to go up playoffs whatever I don't care I just want to concentrate on this league and the next game was in the league at home and it was a draw again a 1-1 draw against Dave as a party's Wolves um, decent game even though we got panned in a way I mean they had a lot more chances but it didn't seem like that when you were watching it it didn't seem like they were on top of us so they've got a good side I mean they've got a side capable of going up this year I, I honestly believe that in the game anyway we'll see what happens in real life so do you, you know what the way it was 1-1 one, one against a good side brilliant point brilliant at least we didn't get beat right then well there's a sky bet championship after the five games we've played and we're undefeated we've drawn two we've won three and we've made a brilliant start i really think i've got a good team here now especially these extra additions i've made i'm excited and um, there's a few issues though that i'll talk to about talk to you about in a minute but yeah second in the table Home dressing room zip switch, a top of the league, HDR, look at that mate, that's where your team could be, that's what you could have won, uh, it'll be tough with that, really happy eh, um, if you look at the table there, Wolves down the bottom, now that surprises me, Austin Villa down near the bottom, that, is ma that massively surprises me, um, Leeds are mid table, the team we're going to be facing in a bit, um, Sheffield Wednesday are doing well, that's not bad, I like Sheffield Wednesday because Fried Badger, um, fellow content creator, this series is going to be with Sheffield Wednesday, and then obviously Newcastle QPR Derby, Norwich are up there as well, all big teams, so to be second this early is a good sign. Okay, here's my team uh, ordered by average rating, and we've got some players who are doing really well. Unfortunately, the best player I've got in the team, um, star-wise, ability-wise, uh, and goal-scoring-wise is Kachunga. He's played five, scored five, assisted two. His average rating is an 8.3. But he's out, he's injured. Um, I think he's out for quite a while as well. So, yeah, pretty gutted about that, to be fair. Um, but one thing I'm happy about, at least we signed Will Grigg. We've got that extra striker, so I've still got four strikers. Four strikers who were good enough for the championship. But you never want to lose your best player, do you? Um, also, Jonathan Hogg, he's suspended. He got sent off a while back. So he's not going to be able to play today. Um, my right winger Van La Parra, who also has been doing really well he's played 6 games, he's set up 4 I mean his average rating is just below 7 but he's set up 4 goals that's good enough for me um, he's injured as well, Mark Hudson he's also injured so got a couple of injuries starting to pick up and I've noticed I've had a few already knocks and people coming back and getting knocks again, Aaron Moy he's just come back from a knock um, I don't know if it's just me but it seems like I'm getting more injuries than I ever get on older games. I don't know if that's just my in, in my head. I don't know if my new staff have got us settled. I don't know because I've got a good medical team, so we'll, we'll see. Um, but I think I've got good depth for the championship, so I'm not too worried yet. Not not yet, anyway. Right, today's live com is, of course, against Leeds United. Leeds United, a team I personally I don't hate them, but being a Manchester United fan, you're brought up to not like them. We sing songs about them. Um, but I've got a good friend in GWFM who's a Leeds fan. Also, Just Mike Plays, who I've got massive respect for. He's a Leeds fan. So I've never not Leeds. Just a rival, football rival. It's purely banter, in it? And this is why I'm playing them today. One, because of that. And two, obviously, because it's GW's team. And in this game, Gary Monk's still in charge. He's an average manager, and he's not the best. I mean, he's definitely not a Premier League manager. Well, I don't know if he's going to stay in this job either because Leeds chairman's crazy. 
so we'll have to wait and see. Um, the captain and their key player is Liam Bridcourt, who's not a bad player. Um, I don't know if he's better than my player in the same position, Jonathan Hogg, but he's a good player. Um, the vice captain's Liam Cooper, who's okay, okay as well. I mean, they've got a decent squad. They've not got a bad squad, to be fair. This is going to be a, a tough, tough game, especially at Ellen Road, which is a massive, famous stadium, and especially in the West Yorkshire Derby. It's a massive game in that part of the world. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Everyone knows my tactic by now. We're sticking with it. Although, I have got another tactic. So, what I've done is, and I don't know if you do this yourself, but I, I like to do it. I have an A team and a B team. So, I've set up an A team selection um, for my attacking formation and a B team selection for my attacking formation. And then my defensive counter formation, I've done the same, an A team and a B team. And it just saves you a lot of time. What you can do is say you want to pick that certain formation for a game. You can just click your pre-selected formation, your team. Just click on it. And if there's someone injured or someone's not fit, you don't have to change one or two players. You don't have to scroll through and pick your team every time. You know what your best team is. You might as well do it. Um, and also, when, you, when you've got a game that's not that important, you can just pick a B team dead quick. Do you, you know what I mean? I, I find it easier. It's just a little tip I'd, I'd put out there and a tip I'd probably try. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, the team selection today, we've got Bettinelli in net. We've got Schindler and Morrison in the centre of defence. Low at left back. We've got Smith at right back. Uh, Billing in the ball in the midfielder role. We've got Moy in the middle. Uh, and Zogby is going to fill in on the right. We've got Lolly on the left. Uh, and Wells and Greg up front. I'm excited about this team. I think they're a good side still. We've got some key players missing. But I've got to have a bit of confidence in them. And I've got some confidence in them. Now, the press is saying that we re they reckon we're going to cancel each other out that um, they can see draw written all over this game. I don't know about that, because we can score goals for fun. We just If we can just stop letting them in, which we've been doing recently, since I've got my new centre-half, Morrison, I'm a new goalkeeper, we're not letting in three or four every game. But we're away from home, and we're at the famous Ellen Road. It's a big, big match. Come on. In today's Sky Bet Championship game, we have got Leeds United versus Huddersfield Town. Here we are at Ellen Road and it looks fantastic, doesn't it really? I do love some of the new stadium graphics. I mean, football manager graphics aren't the best, but I do like the new stadium touches. Some of them look a bit different. And um, hopefully when you build your stadium, sometimes you start off with a small stadium and you build your stadium, it ends up looking all over the show, doesn't it? Hopefully they've improved that a bit. Um, but you don't play this game for graphics, do you? But it is okay, and he's had a foul early doors. What, 12 seconds? Is he going off? No, he's just getting the ticking off, I think. So yeah, this is the West Yorkshire Derby. This is a big game in this area. I mean, GW, FM, a uh, good friend of mine who's doing a Legion United save. Oh, good interception from Morrison. He's, um, he's a diehard Leeds fan, um, but his uncle's a Huddersfield Town fan. So in that area, there's a lot of rivalry, you know? There's a big game around there, especially nowadays, because... I think Huddersfield have lived in Leeds shadow for such a long time. Um, and oh, look at that for a tackle. Bloody hell, they crippled him. But I think they're more, they're quite, they're more equal. I mean, Huddersfield are better, aren't they, at the minute? But here's Sacco now on the charge one on one with my keeper, and he couldn't miss that. 1 0 Leeds. Two minutes gone. That is not the start we were looking for. Yeah, here's Oscar on the ball. Lovely pass. And Sacco brilliantly ran onto that, didn't he? Took a lovely touch. One on one with a keeper, you ain't stopping them. Can't blame the goalie for that. One nil. We've got a corner now. I've just passionately demanded more. Will anything come of it? I don't know. The corner's come back out to Zogby, who's floated it back in. Can we get an head on it? Lolly gets his head on it brilliantly. Instant plan. Four minutes gone. And it's one one. Here's a replay corner ball. It ends up coming back to Zogby. He hits it straight away with his left foot. Lolly jumps up and heads. He scored one of them in the uh, last live come, I think, didn't he? A header, so. Yeah, brilliant. So yeah, 10 minutes got. And uh, what a game, eh? 1-1. Um, <laughs> I think it's a story of the save so far. Uh, score goals, let goals in. But oh, do you know what? I just love playing attacking football. I just love playing attacking football. And if I have to concede a few goals, I don't care. As long as we score more. And here's Will Grigg now on the ball. Come on, Will. Is Will going to be on fire? He's doing okay and then just ruins it on the end. Ruins it. What was that? Oh, good tackle for Moy. What a tackle. Schindler's gathered the ball there now. Schindler floats it forward. Lofted pass to Wells. Wells gets onto it and scores. What a goal. 
Here we, here we go now. Shinlan on the ball. Lofts it forward. Trying to find Wells. Wells just blasts it in the net. Here's Smith now with a throw in on the right hand side. Smith to, to Grig. Grig on the ball now. Come on, Grig. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, lad? Come on. He's keeping hold of the ball well, but mm, passing it to space and Smith gets onto it. Smith to win. Oh, trying to find Inzogby, but about three Leeds players just appear from nowhere. And Denton clears it. Now I love that name, Denton. Denton is where I'm from in Manchester. Now it's Inzogby. Come on. Oh, tackled by Leeds. Come on. Denton now finds uh, Oscar. Oscar gets it through to Sacco, is it? We are charging back here in numbers. No, we're not. One of them's a referee. But it's. Digoraga, I don't know how to say his name, GW, help me out, no idea how to say his name, um, but here we are now, we've got the ball back, come on, we have got some fire and some passion about us, I think they're getting the Derby spirit, can Lolly win the ball, he can, Digora gets it, finds Oscar, can Oscar find Sacco, Sacco's got two men on him, but he's charging forward, takes it past one man, shoots and blasts it over the bar, poor, yeah, just told him to uh, push forward, I mean, I know we're winning, but I want to go for him here, Right, I've told them that they're playing well, but there's still room for improvement. It's too much. I just want to concentrate, so I'm going to back out a lot of orders in this second half. And if it's still 2 1 with about 25 minutes, 20 minutes to go, I think we might switch to our defensive counter uh, formation. Both formations they are learning and slowly becoming more familiar with, so I've got no qualms about switching to it. I just want to come away from here with some form of a point or three. Okay, we kick off. Second half, will Leeds kick off the second half? Uh, can we hang on here? I hope so. So yeah, um, it's seven chances to seven. And they're edging it by 1% in the possession. But that's nothing really, is it? Now where's Moy now? Moy finds Smith. Come on, Smith. What's he going to do? He's going to blast it forward. Trying to find Will Grigg, and he has done. Will Grigg passes it inside to Wells. Wells is on the ball now. Wells charging forward as a shot. Oh, what a goal! What an absolute world! Wow! This goal was special. Loki Doki had an episode the other day where Lucas Thingy uh, scored an absolute worldie, but that beats that Loki. That beats that hands down. That was amazing. Wow, wow. I'll be showing that goal forever. That was brilliant. Um, I need a time to concentrate. I, mean, I told him to concentrate. I mean, it's nearly half an hour ago. I'm going to leave it 10 minutes. I want to get to the 20 minute mark. It's still 3 1. I'm going to go defensive. Okay, I've made one change and I've brought Will Grigg off. We're going to have Wells up front on his own. And this ain't exactly the normal formation I've picked. Me defensive formation. I've just brought my wingers back a bit more. Um, just to really get lots of men behind the ball. Oh man, this has been brilliant. That goal, honestly, that goal was amazing. Um, and if you haven't checked out Loki Doki before, I'm sure you have. He's famous. He's world famous. Um, he's doing a Liverpool beta save at the minute. And honestly, that goal, I think it's Lucas, I can never remember his second name, Lucas Summer, anyway. He was a bang average defender's midfielder, didn't he? Oh, come on, Lolly. What's he going to do? Oh, we scored again. We scored again, it's Wells, one man up front. Brilliant. 4-1 against Leeds, this is amazing. Yeah, here's Palmer now, he got tackled, but Lolly gathered the ball, Lolly's been playing brilliantly. Two men on him, as soon as he got to him, he crossed it to Wells, who absolutely rifled that in the net. 4-1, have that. But yeah, I was saying uh, in one of his recent his recent episodes, Loki Doki, he, um, the guy, guy scored a world hit, honestly, you need to check his series out, it's brilliant, the guy's a, a genius. But here's uh, Leeds on the attack, I mean, he's got 10 seconds, 15 seconds left in injury time. Come on, lads, let's just uh, stick to one goal. And Bettinelli makes that a bit of a dramatic save there, doesn't he? Didn't need to do that, lad. Jeez. Booms it forward. Surely the referee's going to blow his whistle. Surely. Yeah, and he does. It's full time here at Ellen Road. And we have turned leads over and beaten 4 1. Okay, I'm going to be passionate. It can't be anything but, can you? I'm just saying I was very pleased with the result and the performance. And I've got a lot of green there. I think everyone's buzzing. I mean, geez. Fans are going to go home five minutes down the motorway. Happy as Larry. Honestly, that was brilliant. And that goal. Let's just have a look at it in the background again while I'm chatting. That goal was out of this world fantastic I mean yeah just to beat Leeds 4-1 brilliant I'm sorry G8 but Uddersfield Town are the daddies of West Yorkshire quick look at the stats and it was a pretty even game on it they edged it in possession we had one more chance than they did we had double the amount on target though then Wells bagged himself an hat-trick that kid is a uh, some player he's thinking it was his second hat-trick now this season 
um, he got himself one of the match. We only had one yellow card, which is quite surprising. Um, Leeds, bang average, weren't they? I think they had one player on a seven, and he was just on a seven. Right, here we are with the uh, Skybet Championship, and we're second, we're a point behind Ipswich, who are doing brilliantly, aren't they, Ipswich? I mean, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, started better than I thought. I mean, when I started the season, I thought we had a good squad, um, and I think I've made some really good additions since the last episode, and, and I mean, we let a goal in, but... I think we're starting to defend a lot better. I think they're starting to learn the formation. And the good thing is we're still scoring goals. This, this, The way I play, I think, I'll always score goals. Just need to shore it up a bit in the defence. But to be um, six games in and second in the league is fantastic. Because if, if we can go up this first season, wow, that'll be a brilliant achievement. Right then, we're going to come back for episode three. And we're going to play Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to play the next five games off camera. One of them is going to be against Ipswich, so that'll be a, a really good game. But I want to come back for Sheffield Wednesday because another good friend of mine, Fry Badger, he's got a series with Sheffield Wednesday, so it's always good to highlight your friends. And I love Sheffield Wednesday. I think they're a the club I, I, I really, really like. Um, and I, another club I think should be in the Premier League. Well, there you go. That's episode two in the bag. Great episode. It was good. I mean, I think I've made some good signings. I think we've had some good results. We've scored a lot of goals, um, let a lot of goals in. But I think we're starting to get better in defence. Now we've got Morrison and a new goalkeeper as well. I think we're uh, starting to look a bit better on the back of the team. And we're still looking good going forward. Um, so I'm still buzzing that we beat Leeds. Uh, absolutely buzzing. But um, I just think we've got a squad that can get us out of this division. I really, really do. Um, if we end up in the playoffs, fair enough. Uh, I don't mind that. Yeah, thank you for watching. Any new subscribers, thank you for subbing because I've had a few recently. Thank you for everyone who hits that thumbs up. It really does mean a lot. It shows me that you care and that um, I'm doing the right thing. Uh, and that's what it's all about. It's about you guys. You're looking for this entertainment like I used to what I used to be. And you just want to be uh, watch something good. And if you give me 20 minutes of your day, it, it means the world to me. It really, really does. So thank you very much. So yeah, episode three. We'll be back. We'll be playing Sheffield Wednesday. I hope to see you then. Have a nice day. Take care. I'll see you later.